one of our challenges is that resistance does develop um, and can we characterize that? Can we predict that? And so uh, several of the studies have worked very hard to identify biomarkers of sensitivity or resistance. Um, and I think right now we still say ER positivity is the only biomarker um, for benefit. Um, there are many that have been looked at, but none that have been consistently validated. And so that research um, uh, avenue continues to explore that. The same looks at resistance. Could we identify um, a, a patient that might um, derive less benefit either with intrinsic resistance and those patients who don't get benefit um, beyond six months or acquired resistance? And while there's been a lot of uh, emphasis on that, again, I think we're challenged by a lot of different signals and learning how to incorporate those. I think um, mutations in the uh, RB gene um, seem to resonate. PA3 kinase comes out, um, cyclin E, uh, but again, not ready for um, you know real-time assessments and making decisions on that. 